Hey, good morning. Pastor Ernie here with your daily encouragement. Uh, just wondering, checking in and wondering how you guys are doing with your 40 day challenge with Jesus. Uh, I'm practicing some things for Lent. And uh, just wondering how you guys are doing, if anybody's having any kind of transformations or uh, heart things happening during this challenge. Um, we're really curious, so if uh, you can, uh, comment down here uh, some things that are going on with you during this 40 days of Lent. Uh, we're really curious to know. We'd like to share those things with you. Um, but today's St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I want to give you, you know me, I love fun facts, uh, so I want to give you a couple about St. Patrick. Uh, did you know his name wasn't Patrick? His name was Maywin. He was born, and he's not Irish. He was born in Britain. So I, I looked him up, and I thought, wow, there's all kinds of things about this cat that I did not know. So uh, for starters, yeah, he was born in Britain, and his name was Maywin. And when he was 15 or 16, um, a band of Irish uh, raiders, marauders, whatever you want to call them, ransacked his house. He came from a well-to-do family. And uh, these Irishmen took him prisoner and brought him back to Ireland, uh, where he worked as a shepherd and they, he was a slave, pretty much, for about six years. Uh, so that would make him around 21, and he escaped. And he walked 200 miles to the coast, caught uh, a ride on a ship, and made his way back to Britain, where uh, he studied to become a priest. And uh, that was about a 15 year journey of uh, school. So now this guy is about 40, right? And uh, he becomes a priest and he takes on this name Patrick, which derives from the Latin word meaning father figure. So, you know, so we call priests father sometimes. And that's how he came with the name Patrick. And, uh, you know, according to um, some of the stories, looking him up on the web, uh, he heard a voice. Uh, God's voice, the voice of an angel, telling him to go back to Ireland as a missionary. So he went back to the place where he was taken prisoner and made a slave. So that's, that's quite interesting, very brave, courageous, pretty bold. Uh, he went back to Ireland as a missionary to uh, minister to the few Christians that were already there, but mainly to convert people to Christianity. And so this guy is known for converting most of Ireland to Christianity. And that is why uh, he's um, referred to as a saint these days, because of all the work that he did there. Now, mind you, this guy didn't even start this mission until his 40s. And uh, whatever time he had there in Ireland was enough where the Christian world was, uh, wanted to recognize him and canonize him as a saint. Actually, he was never canonized because... That kind of thing wasn't happening back then. That was earlier before canonization of saints. But he's known as a saint, St. Patrick. So my encouragement to you today is think how much you can do for kingdom work. How much kingdom work you can do. How much you can do for the Lord uh, if you just put your heart to it, put your mind to it. Maybe incline your ear to the Lord's voice to see what he's got for you. Um, this guy converted a nation almost. Uh, to Christianity. Uh, he didn't start until his 40s. Anyway, there's your uh, encouragement for the day to get up and do. Uh, say your prayers, talk to the Lord, and do some things for the kingdom. Amen? All right, tune in tomorrow for your next daily encouragement.